Good morning, traders. So a uh, quick video recap on the trade I took. It's the 5th of July, Great British Pound US dollar. I got short at Frankfurt. Uh, I'll put the screenshots of my positions in the Discord. And this is just going to be a quick video going over confluences I used to take the trade. So we've got yesterday's profile here, daily profile. You can see we came up, started making lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. Coming into Asia, we were trading inside prior day's value. We can see also got a volume cluster there. And here, that lower high there, I'd class that as an order block. So once upon a time, many years ago, I'd have drawn that out as my supply zone. Although I wouldn't have had any other confluences many years ago, apart from retail MACDs and stocks and all that sort of stuff as confirmations. But these days, we've got a, a bit more information available to us uh, a bit more unique information so therefore we can make better informed decisions um, and have an extra edge in the auction so anyway lower high there that would have been a point of interest trading inside prior days value opened it up into that order block supply zone whatever you want to call it and rejected so we rejected as we failed to break out of value come back in value again we're still in asia session here and then we auctioned it up to the developing value area high which is still within value so there i'd be looking for shorts so i had extra confluences there with the vwap chart because it was in alignment with vwap and also we had some big clues which i'll drag the chart over now first of all i had my candlestick chart which has got uh stacked imbalances on there and market depth historical graph as well so i could see that stacked in balance auction down came up rejected from that stacked in balance burst down stacked in balance came up respected that stacked in balance then came down and then this was that supply zone i was talking about on the daily auction down pulled up we had here big volume big buying delta coming into that imbalance and look filled the imbalance rejected that's where i entered i could also see that on the quick print chart i'll drag that over let's set this to um This is a 17 minute footprint, so we can easily see the big buying volume. This is Asia coming to Frankfurt Open, so this was off past six in the morning. Big buying volume, big buy side delta into that imbalance, and then look rejection tail. There's passive sell orders got triggered again. My sell side delta. So this is where I entered. I think it was the two minute chart on the footprint. So Having seen that, buying into that area, flicked into the two minute, I think it was, I was on. I was flicking through loads of time frames. Yeah. So we had heavy buying coming in into the point of interest and then that buying started to wane bit of exhaustion then we got the switch to the sell side and then investors start getting aggressive with their market orders as you can see there we started auctioning down target and also we opened uh just before frankfurt open at this yellow zone here which i've got that as a new setting i've put on one of my charts that just shows you where there's high amounts of um delta so we've got a delta burst there so we opened here i had a bearish bias 
given that we're into this order block and the VWAP and that stacked in balance. So I had a target, a logical target of when it control. So I entered my short positions, took profits down there for about, I think I had two positions, about 15 pips on each position, so about, about 30 pips. And uh, yeah, that's me done for the morning. We'll check back pre New York, see if there's anything happening. Uh, made my money and uh, pretty straightforward. It's not even London open yet. All right, nice one. Cheers, guys. Good morning, traders. So a uh, quick video recap on the trade I took. It's the 5th of July, Great British Pound US dollar. I got short at Frankfurt. Um, I'll put the screenshots of my positions in the Discord. And this is just going to be a quick video going over confluences I used to take the trade. So we've got yesterday's profile here, daily profile. You can see we came up, started making lower highs, lower